Welcome back to Mental Health & Muscle, your go-to destination for all things pertaining to the complete aspect of wellness. For those of you joining us for the first time, we are a thriving community passionately devoted to fostering a culture that promotes the importance of holistic health. Our mission is to transcend conventional definitions that separate physical and mental health and instead advocate for an integrated approach. We are firm believers in the concept that the mind and body are not separate entities but are intrinsically linked in a beautifully complex symbiosis. We strive to bring this philosophy to our audience through the diverse range of content that we meticulously curate for you. From insightful videos to informative articles, we aspire to be your trusted source for understanding and embracing this fascinating concept of holistic health. Our objective is to provide you with the necessary tools to take charge of your mental, physical, and spiritual wellness, aiding you in your journey to achieve optimal health. We welcome you to share your insights, experiences, and stories with us. And together, we can help shape a healthier and happier world. If you're someone who's intrigued by the harmony of the mind and body, curious about exploring the various aspects of holistic health, or simply seeking a more balanced approach to well-being, we encourage you to subscribe to our platform. Don't forget to also hit the notification bell, ensuring you never miss any updates from us. Today, we're diving deep into the powerful connection between mental health and physical exercise. When we engage in physical exercise, our bodies release endorphins, neurotransmitters that act as natural painkillers and mood elevators. These neurochemical changes in our brain are a fundamental part of why we feel so good after a workout. But let's break it down a bit. When we exercise, our heart rate increases and our body demands more oxygen. This signals the brain to ramp up production of endorphins. These endorphins, often referred to as feel-good hormones, flood our system, creating a sense of euphoria, sometimes known as the runner's high. But endorphins are just part of the picture. Exercise also triggers a release of other important neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine. Serotonin is often called the happiness chemical because it contributes to well-being and happiness. Dopamine, on the other hand, is linked to motivation, reward, and pleasure. Together, these neurotransmitters create a potent cocktail that helps reduce feelings of stress, anxiety, and depression. In addition to these biochemical effects, exercise also stimulates the growth of new brain cells and helps prevent age-related decline. Physical activity increases the size of the hippocampus, the brain area involved in learning and memory, leading to improved mental function. Moreover, working out regularly also helps regulate your sleep cycle. A good night's sleep is vital for mental health, and exercise promotes better sleep by helping regulate your body's internal clock, the circadian rhythm. This leads to more restful and restorative sleep, which is crucial for brain health and mood regulation. But perhaps one of the most significant mental health benefits of exercise is its impact on self-esteem. Regular physical activity can boost your confidence and improve your self-image. As you meet your fitness goals, whether it's running a mile, lifting a certain weight, or simply feeling stronger, you'll gain a sense of achievement that can significantly enhance your self-esteem. So, it's clear that the benefits of exercise extend far beyond the physical. Regular physical activity has been shown to boost self-esteem, improve sleep quality, and increase cognitive function, all of which are essential components of good mental health. But it's not just about the biochemical effects. Exercise also provides a much-needed escape from the daily stresses of life. You see, when we're moving our bodies, we're not just burning calories or building muscle. We're also creating a unique opportunity for mindfulness, a chance to immerse ourselves fully in the present moment. Consider the rhythmic pattern of a jogger's stride, the focused concentration of a yogi holding a challenging pose, or the exuberant energy of a dance class in full swing. These activities are not just physical, they are deeply mental and emotional too. They demand our full attention, pulling us away from past regrets or future worries, and anchoring us in the now. This focus on the present moment, this mindfulness is a powerful tool for mental well-being. It helps us to detach from our anxieties, to quiet the constant chatter of our minds, and to find a sense of inner peace amidst the chaos of life. It's a form of meditation in motion, a way to cultivate a state of calm awareness and acceptance. Moreover, exercise provides a sense of accomplishment. Each step taken, each rep completed, each mile run provides a small victory, a tangible proof of our strength and resilience. This can be incredibly empowering, boosting our self-confidence and self-esteem, 
and fostering a positive self-image. And let's not forget about the social aspect of exercise. Group activities like team sports, group fitness classes, or even a simple walk in the park with a friend provide a sense of community and belonging. They allow us to connect with others on a deeper level, to share experiences, and to support each other in our wellness journeys. So the next time you're feeling stressed, anxious, or down, remember this. Exercise is not just good for your body, it's good for your mind too. Whether it's a jog through the park, a yoga session, or a dance class, physical activity allows us to clear our minds and focus on the present moment. Now let's talk about practical ways to incorporate exercise into your routine. It might seem daunting at first, but remember, it's about taking small, manageable steps towards a healthier you. Firstly, let's debunk the myth that exercise means spending hours at the gym. Physical activity can be as simple as taking the stairs instead of the elevator, parking your car a bit further away from your destination, or having a quick stretch during your work breaks. Next, consider activities that you enjoy. Do you love music? Try a dance class. Are you a nature enthusiast? How about a hike or a bike ride? The key is to find an activity that you look forward to, turning exercise from a chore into a hobby. Another tip is to schedule your exercise like any other appointment. Write it in your calendar or set a reminder on your phone. This commitment will help you prioritize exercise, making it a non-negotiable part of your day. Staying motivated can be challenging, so consider finding a workout buddy. Having someone to share your fitness journey with can make exercise more fun and keep you accountable. Remember, it's not about how intense your workout is, it's about consistency. A gentle yoga session or a brisk walk can be just as beneficial as a high-intensity workout, especially when done regularly. It's also essential to listen to your body. Some days you might feel like pushing yourself. Other days your body might need something more restorative. And that's okay. Exercise should never feel punishing. It should be about celebrating what your body can do. Lastly, don't forget to reward yourself. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small. Whether it's completing your first yoga class or walking an extra mile, every step forward is an achievement worth celebrating. Incorporating exercise into your routine might require some adjustment, but the benefits it brings to both your physical and mental health are well worth the effort. Remember, every journey begins with a single step and every step you take brings you closer to a healthier, happier you. Something as simple as a brisk walk or a few minutes of stretching can make a world of difference. Let's hear from some individuals who've experienced the positive impact of exercise on their mental health. Our first guest is Danielle, a busy mother of three. She shares, Before I started incorporating exercise into my daily routine, I was constantly battling stress and fatigue. When I began walking every morning, I noticed a significant improvement in my mood and energy levels. It's become my sanctuary a time to reflect and unwind. I'm not just a happier mom, but a happier person. Next, we have Mario, a corporate executive, who says, The pressures of work used to leave me feeling overwhelmed and anxious. I started cycling to and from work, and the difference was night and day. The physical exertion helped me to cope with stress, and the time spent outdoors gave me a fresh perspective. Exercise has become an essential part of my mental wellness toolkit. Then there's Susan, a school teacher, who tells us dealing with pressures and social anxieties was taking a toll on my mental health. I turned to yoga as a way to quell my anxieties and regain balance. Yoga not only improved my flexibility but also my mental resilience. It taught me to breathe, to let go, and to live in the moment. Lastly, let's hear from Pete, a retired process operator, who says, After retiring, I struggled to getting used to retired life. I felt lost and disconnected. Camping became my refuge. The stillness of nature, the challenge of the trail, it all helped me find peace and purpose again. Exercise for me is as much about mental strength as it is about physical strength. These stories remind us that exercise is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's about finding what works for you, what brings you joy, and what helps you to connect with yourself on a deeper level. It's about creating a routine that promotes not just physical health, but mental and emotional well-being as well. Exercise has become my therapy. It helps me clear my mind and recharge my batteries. Thanks for joining us on this journey. We hope you found value in understanding the profound connection between physical exercise and mental well-being. The science is clear and the testimonials are inspiring. Exercise can be a potent elixir for your mind, not just your body. It's a path to a happier, healthier, and more balanced life, but the journey doesn't end here. We invite you to take the first step, or if you've already started, 
to keep going. Remember, no step is too small. A short walk, a quick stretch, a few deep breaths, they all count. The key is consistency. Stick with it and over time the benefits will compound. If you're already exercising regularly, we'd love to hear your experiences. How has physical activity impacted your mental health? How do you incorporate it into your daily routine? Your comments can inspire others and create a supportive community here. And of course, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people. If you're not already a part of our community, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way you'll always be in the loop when we post new content on mental health and physical wellness. Until next time, take care and keep moving forward.